Welcome to another SDEC MSC Adams tutorial. In this tutorial we will be building a small single cylinder engine. Create a new project and make sure everything is set up correctly. Start by placing a point found under bodies on the workspace. Double click the point in the model browser to edit its position. Bodies created on top of a point can be repositioned at any time in the design process. Rename the point you just created by right clicking the com component and selecting rename. Create the design variable under design exploration for the cylinder width. Make sure the plus minus delta relative to value value range is selected and enter a value of minus and plus 100 for the delta values. Once you click apply the design variable will appear in your model browser. Repeat this step for the cylinder height, cylinder depth, piston radius and piston height. Design variables can be assigned to define basically any scalar used in atoms. When doing design studies or experiments, one can define allowed ranges for these design variables. By using design variables together with points when constructing a model, it makes it possible to parameterize desired aspects of a model. Parameterization creates relationships between bodies and makes editing on a later stage in the building process easier. It is therefore more troublesome initially to set up your model to be parameterized, but once it is done, it is easy to make design changes. Construct a box on top of a point you already created. Right click on the box and select modify under box 2. Replace the diagonal corner coordinates with the design variables you assign to the cylinder width, height and depth. Double click a design variable in the model browser to change standard values that regulates the cylinder's dimensions. Now you can rename part 2. Names are used to give identities to bodies in atoms. You will see that a part is automatically named after the model you are working in, followed by the part's name. Select the whole feature and select the part and the direction on which the whole must act. Right click on the hole and select hole feature and modify. Change the center to 0, 400, 0. Right click in the radius box and select parameterize and reference design variable. Select the radius design variable you created earlier from the database navigator. The message window will pop up alerting you that the hole design variable is too large for the cylinder part which contains the hole. Change the standard value of a design variable assigned to the radius to a value of 100. Now you can click apply on the geometry modify feature hole window. The engine cylinder is now created. It is also parameterized in such a fashion that you can change its position and size at any time. Press C and select any point on the cylinder. You can now rotate around the selected point while holding R. Remember to save your model constantly. Now we will bolt the piston. Select the cylinder solid under bodies. Create the piston on the Y axis. This is also centered to the hole feature. Right click the cylinder and select modify under cylinder. Parameterize the cylinder's radius with the radius design variable you used for the hole feature. Do the same for the piston length. Right click a part and select appearance under the part's name to change its color. If you right click in the color box you can browse all the available colors. Remember that gray text boxes is optional. Rename the new cylindrical part to piston. Right click the whole feature again and add an additional plus one to the design variable called radius. This will ensure that the piston has enough space to move in the cylinder without excessive friction. You have now created a relationship between the piston and cylinder. If you change the standard value of a radius design variable now, both the cylinder hole and the piston will be modified. This concludes part 1 of building a small single cylinder engine in atoms. In the next tutorial we will focus on connectors, motions and contacts. Thank you for your time and effort and good luck with the learning process.